Good evening. I hope that you are doing very, very, very well. Welcome back to my yearly conlang showcase. <laughs> this actually might be one of the last ones of these because I don't have a lot of other conlangs uh, sitting around for Isaya, but I suppose I do technically have an entire Pathfinder world of conlangs. I wrote like seven for that world that none of my uh, <laughs> players use, so I suppose. Oh, we can get into those after this. This time, we are delving into the Shahezani Kanlang, which is the language of my spider people. The objective of Shahezani is to feel like a Semitic language with the proper consonant, consonantal root system. Uh, Shahezani needed to sound warm and maybe vaguely Romani and vaguely Arabic and vaguely Hebrew and spider-like. It is frequently described as chittering and clicking, kind of like dolphins, and it has very high context culture because everyone can presumably just smell pheromones to get moods and implications, and also everyone can see the future, so these things all really help. Uh, the phonology of it is d, f, g, h, j, k, l, m, n, Sorry, that one's k in the back. R, s, sh, t, v, z. Also, it has three vowels. A, e, u, and a voiceless k. <laughs> uh, it also has a y, but it's only in the written form that replaces vowels at the front of words to let you know that they're there. Uh, Shahirzani is a CV language, except the endings can be CVC, and only verbs, adjectives, and adverbs can start with vowels. One of the really neat things about making this language was I took the consonant structures from my proto-language and removed the vowels, and then I created vowel structures that would go into it. So I understand that this isn't exactly how uh, consonantal root systems evolve in real life, but um, I'm not here to emulate real life that closely. I am only here to uh, emulate real life for people who don't know a lot about languages. <laughs> so with that in mind, uh, I'll go over my vowel stems really quickly. Um, I, A, is, I suppose I should just do it by sound, huh? E, A, is a person who does a thing. E, U, Ak, is an abstract noun, like hope or despair. Uh, A, U, is a normal noun, like a person, place, or thing. Uh, U, A, is a place. E, is an adjective. A, I is an adverb. A, T is an action as a noun. This comes from id in Svanic, like running or translation. Um, and then A, A, I is a sort of an honorific noun, like God or the first prophets. Uh, this is a VSO conlang, uh, with a verb, subject, object, order. Uh, all adjectives go right before verbs, however, uh, which is, uh, you know, a bit of a weird quirk. Uh, this language has postfixes as opposed to prefixes, and the way possession is done is that you put the possessee of the possessor. So, the possession, I suppose I should say, uh, the word of, and then the possessor. Uh, there is no differentiation between plural and singular, and if you need to specify, you just put the number before it. Their number system is base 6 or hexamal. And you might be curious as to why that is when they're spiders, but despite having eight legs, they have three fingers, so between the two of their hands, they only have, the, or sorry, each hand 
has six fingers. So between the two, two set, their two sets of two hands, they each have three. So base six. Um, we will conjugate a sample word to be to demonstrate the conjugations in this language. The word to be is arshas. Arshas. In now, the conjugation has four moods based off of how well you know the information. Um, if the information is well known, guaranteed, or factual, you use one of the following conjugations. In the past, it is irashas. In the present, it is arashas. In the present imperfect, it is irushis. And in the future, or the imperative, it is irshas. Irshas. Next, if you know the information personally, or if this is hearsay, or if it's just, you just think it's probably true, uh, then you conjugate like this. In the past, it is irishas. In the present, it is irash. In the present imperfect, you get aishas. And in the future, or the imperative, it's shas. Shas. The unknown but likely or probable mood, or also used for customary things, uh, would be conjugated to like the following. Irashus in the past. Arsh. Arshas. Arshas in the present. Arshis in the present imperfect, and the irish, irish in the future or the imperative. And the last moon is unknown and unlikely or improbable or speculative. And in the past, that is rash, rash. Shush. It's hard to say that one. Uh, the present is arash. Arash. The present imperfect is urushus. And the future or the imperative in this mood is irishas. Irishas. Let's dive into the lexicon now. This is the part where I read a long list of words, so if you're not here for it, it's time for you to uh, either leave or just drift off to sleep to my melodic, mel melodic, my definitely melodic, uh, <laughs> artfully crafted voice. The greeting is alach, alach, but the formal greeting is alach al sukhadifrana which literally means, I give this moment to you. Yes, asara, which means it is true, or no, adarash, which means it is false. Sorry, or excuse me, ijafyakhnihani. This means it is caused by me or sourced by me. Thank you, ajaha, ajahafyakhnihani. This means this is caused by you or sourced by you, from you. You're welcome is adifrani, which means and of you. So you would say, thank you, adifrani, and then the person would reply, adifrani, to indicate the role that they had played in it. Congratulations is kat, the katfas, which comes from the phrase, have power. It, or thing, is fiak, which is also the same as the word for one. And uh, it's usually for inanimate things, whereas nahu is an animate pronoun. Uh, for interrogatives, you 
conjugate the root, um, the SR root, to uh, which is for unknown or improbable things to ask uh, what something is or what time it is, um, but uh, not like when. Uh, so here are some examples. What is it? Usuru fiak. Where? Usuru sura. When? Usuru suka. Why? Usuru saru. How? Usuru varu. Therefore, al sarunu. However, darsi. Very or much, some some and then you put the verb form of a thing. B, al, the like honorable, uh, is sha. That's as you can see in shahkozani. Uh, this is also al, but that or that over there is ul. Because is jahat and you use it in the middle of sentences, you cannot begin a sentence with because. But if you want to begin a sentence with because, then you begin it with of the truth that. Al saruch ni ul. The word ni is both for possession and for the word of. So, uh, the la so language shahid sani. Because that's where the ni comes in. It's the language of the shahirza. Uh, tu is na. At, it, in, or on is tina. For, by, or with is re. From is also ni. And and is a. I, niha. You, difra. He, she. He is dirka, she is mirka. Uh, it also, these words are also the same as the words for a male or female individual. And lastly, a uh, gender, a person whose gender is neither male nor female, which is many of the children who have not woven their uh, children weaving parts yet, um, is liska. We, niha. Same as I, because remember, plurals are just the same word again. They is dihna, people is hirza from shahirzani. Uh, a doer of a thing, how we have established, is you put the root in with where the consonantal root goes, and then the uh, to modify it, you put the vowels I, A in it. Uh, to make a diminutive ni nickname, you t can add at onto the end. This is something they got from the Nophulians. A family member is a nahu. A mother is mrik. Is marik vikra. A father is a dhrik vira. Oh my god, this is so hard to say. Virga. Uh, Guess what? You get to hear me practice uh, for the other video I'm doing. Mrik vik vir. Oh, it's not vigra, it's virga. Virga. Mrik marik. Rik virga, de rik virga, le sik virga. The breaths are very difficult. Child is virik shatur. A lover or a mate is ishma. A fighter is virka. A merchant is sirka. A weaver or a parent is virka. A weaver prophet is a sha virka. A very important uh, prophet or the which include the first prophets are the varagim. 
The priest prophets are Shmi. Shmi. Oh, this is hard to say. Shmi. Vigra. And the clever prophets are the Sirik Vigra. And the first or star, the first star prophet, which is uh, the title of their hero, Sirkra Sirita. Uh, is the Shafini Difsri Dixiv Dixiv Varagim Shafini Dixiv Varagim Morning is Lasuk Evening is Magun Night is Nahun Day is Kasuk Week is Karuk here is kun ku kun ku asi. Time is kisukak. Moment is sukha. Faith is sak sakahak. Last is lisika. Sika. I don't remember to do the ka back in the throat as much as I should. Uh, next is ki. Uh, near future or luckiness is kirakak, kirakak. Future is saku. Name or word is varish. Place is sahul. City is vug, vugra. World is jihuak. Web or home is Vagur. Shop is Surk. Surka. Temple is Hulsa. All right, here you're getting into the adjectives now, if you'll recall. Adjectives are extremely difficult to pronounce. Red is Vnid. Blue is Snid. Green is kmi. Violet is fsin. Metalworking is zizufak, which is a human thing. And so the word for metal is rhsiz. The noun for metal is razuz. Marble, the noun is marum. But marble, the adjective, would be machrim. The adjective for light is shtir. The noun for light or heat is shatur. Dark, the adjective, is mukhgin. And dark is darkness, or the dark, or sweetness is migunak. Shadow is magun. Wood is hakul wooden is khalik the noun for good is shamuch but something that is a lot good or godlike is shmich shmich bad evil or incompetence is ganush and bad, the adjective, is knish. Opportunism is sirtak. That's where the name sirka sirtak comes from, their hero. The word for rich is khlis. And the word for spider-like, which is also the word they use to describe uh, non spider seers, seers who can see the future, because all of the spiders, all the shahis on here, are seers. Um, their word to describe people who are seers who are not spiders is the same as this word, and it's shir. Uh, here are the verbs, all in the present and known tense. To be, arashas, there is, or to have, lak, to go, or do, avavard, to like, ashama, to see, Akarok, to cause, adzaha, to fight or kill, alasat, 
to use magic, which is the same as their word for to weave, avagard, to say or communicate, avarash, to know or to understand, avasha, to drink or to have power, avas, avasa, to take advantage of, asarat, to shine, to be created or invented, ashatar, to weave, avagar, Um, to say you should do something, you say lak i, and then you say the verb that you conjugate. To say that you can do something, you say vas ti, and then the verb which you conjugate. The word for language is virushak, so this is the virushak shahrizani, the language of the people. The concept of life is girumak. But something that is limiting is the worst word I've ever invented. Geramt. <laughs> Geramt. One's life or specific life is garum. Death is lisutak. Light or an invention is shirutak. Or sorry, shiturak. Shiturak. Love is shimuk. Water is vasu. Rain, fasu. Sun or star, the suf, celestial or star like, the seed, earth, hasuk, fire, dasufat, sky or air, faruk, but space or the heavens in a non figurative manner, like where the stars are, fagurak, but heaven figuratively, is shamahak, the place where God lives. Chi, hilka, animal, girma, which is the same as the word for one who lives. Cat, sarut, dragon, kserma. This is a shortening of the phrase of one who lives for all time, ksik girma. The shahirzani, of course, call themselves, or sorry, the shahirza call themselves that, but that's a literal word for people. The word for demon is zifsa. The word for human is hirsat, which is to say a little, a little person. A god is shimcha, but their god is shamahim. Silk is varuk. Sand is hasup. An egg or the source of something is jahu. Wealth is halus, an economist is a hilsa, coffee or hunger suppressant is kamur, satisfaction is kimurak, something that is taboo, sinful, or demonic is zivushak, but something that is pure or holy or, um, as I think it would probably be described in, uh, in the Muslim religion, in Islam. There you go. That's the word I was looking for, uh, is Ishu Sak. Lastly, let's count with their basic system. Si, hun, jiri, kun, niji, si, faasi, hunasi, tirasi, hunasi, nijasi, hunsi, fahunsi, and now we've counted all the way to 13. Um, once you get six sixes, that's a ku, which is funny because that means that 37 is fa'aku. And uh, six times six times six, which is 216, is siku. And 1,296, which is six times six times six times six, is sikuve. Lastly, let's end on some sample sentences. Hello, my name is Sirutak. Alak al sukha divrana ivarush Sirutak. Literally, this would translate to who speculatively give this moment to you. I am called Sirutak. Uh, they call themselves by things because they do change their names throughout their lives, much like they change their bodies. 
Arashas Varis Nihani Siritak. This means my name is Siritak. Arashas Niha Siritak means I am Siritak. Next, life is good. Arashas Kirimak Smih. The concept of life is objectively good. Irash Kirimak Smih. My life is good. Irash Kirimak Samuch. In my opinion, the concept of life is the same as the concept of goodness. That red thing was very bad. It was the worst. Irashas ul vichnid fiak gnid. Iganash davdi. Notably, that second sentence uses the bad as a verb and puts the adverbs in front of it to mean the most bad. In the morning, you will go to the city. That is a command. You will go to the city. This means you will probably go to the city. It's a speculation. I should fight with you. Lak i alestat niha difrare. It is known that I should fight with you. This is like an offer. Lak el lak elast difrare. This means more like I personally feel like I should fight with you. Excuse me, do I know you? Yach fiak nihani ivasha nihadivrani. This means this is very formal. Excuse me, did do I know? Did I know of or have I met you in the past? Isha fiak nihani ivasha nihadivrani. This is still formal, but. This is, do I know you with the sense that you definitely do know them? This means, excuse me, do I know you, but you doubt that you know them? They understand my mother because she uses magic. Last year, there were 1,111 in base 6 green dragons. Nisika kunka asi. Ilaka fa asi aku asiku kmi ksirma. He said, I like animals. Uviras dirka. Ashama girmak. Congratulations on your daughter. This means congratulations on your child, but notably, uh, you can't conjugate or you can't congratulate someone on their daughter usually because uh, children, once again, have not gone through metamorphoses, so they don't have sex. Says. This is higher context and less formal. It just means congrats on your kid. And lastly, my favorite phrase of any language I make, I love you. You can also just say, And to you guys, I just want to say, for listening to this Conlang Showcase. See you next year for my next one, because inevitably that's about how long it'll take for me to do another. <laughs> I hope that you have a very, very good night. I guess both or neither part, but you will weave into stronger exoskeleton. It is a little like human puberty, but one chooses when to do it. That's really cool. I wish I could have done that. I believe it. But I know like his say, if you turned to water, you would not become human again. <laughs> Probably not. Alright, what about...